We're here on the Mapex booth at NAM 2020 and the lovely Russ Miller has agreed to show us around. It's quite loud. Um, hi Russ, thanks for joining us. How are you? Good to see you. Good. Hey everybody from Rhythm, one of my favorite magazines. So you've been working with Mapex for a long time in development? Yeah, six years. Six years. Yeah, they, uh, 2013 we started working on the flagship, uh, which was Design Lab, which is like this is my tour kit behind me, but that series. And now I've been working with them to bring down all the technology that we came up with and testing into the other lines, you know, the Saturn lines and all that stuff. Sure. So. Well, we can see your tour kit behind us, so uh, yeah. let's start by taking a look at that. Okay, let's Excellent. do it. So I'm standing behind the Design Lab kit. This is the flagship series we worked on for several years. Uh, this is a peach pearl finish and it's a maple mahogany shell and you can see that uh, there's a lot of innovative things happening none the least of which is very obvious which is these uh, mats mounts which is the magnetic uh, air adjustment tom suspension system the drums are actually floating on a magnetic field and it takes all the, the shell from bearing its own weight away so that's what happens when you hold a drum up you hit it and then you put it down on the uh, the mount and it kind of chokes up on you it's because it starts to bear its own weight so the magnets take that away and the magnets bear the weight and you can adjust the sound by turning a knob and putting more and more or less magnet force in it's pretty cool so this is my tour rig that goes out with me and it's a 10 12 14 16 it's got my versatis artist uh, series drum uh, 22 by 16 18 by 15 inch bass drum this is the new six and a half by 14 version of the Versata snare drum. And of course, all the hardware and everything. Got one of the aux drums back here and I got a sub kick inside of it. And I use that on a lot of the uh, uh, movie soundtracks and different things like that. So it's, a, it's an amazing instrument. You can make a bass drum or a, or a floor tom or a gong bass drum out of it. So uh, let's move on to some of the other stuff we did into the new development of the snares and the new Saturn series. But, uh, this is the Design Lab, check that out, and uh, you can see all this stuff on every gig that I play. All right, here we are at the Black Panther snare drum lineup. Now, this is completely new. There's, there's 14 new models, so there's a tremendous of, amount of stuff to talk about, but I just want to say what we did with my cooperation with the design team is to go through each model and really make sure that all of the parts of the sonic chart, what I mean by deep dry, deep bright, deep open, shallow dry, shallow bright, you know, make sure we have all of those sounds available for everybody. And to do that, everything has changed. All new shells, a lot of the design lab technology, like different venting. You can see there's different hoops, like some models will have a uh, triple flange hoop, some of them will have these uh, sonic saver hoops, the inward saver bent like the old Slingerland kind of hoops. And those uh, are all totally chose for each model by what sound we want, more open or more closed. So you have hybrid shells like maple walnut here. You can also see there, there was a development of a double-ended Saturn lug, which they didn't have before. And it's, it's a locking lug. So these are all locking lugs and they have a locking mechanism inside of them now so that they don't detune at all. So all the stuff is new. The, the metal drums have been completely uh, redesigned and the new molds and, round, and the way they roll them, they've changed the diameter. So the diameter is the older undersized diameter, like the old Premier, which all my friends in the UK know much about, and the old Sonor which was an undersized metal shell. And you can tell just, uh, you're hearing a wide open six inch deep metal drum. There's no muffling on it whatsoever. And it's controlled and punchy and dry sounding. You don't have a lot of over ring like you do with a lot of metal drums. So a really great, series of sounds. That one is a double anodized shell uh, that is hand hammered and it's really very very dry for that big a sound, very controlled. So you don't need to put a lot of duct tape, any kind of moon gels or anything on them. All of the models have a very specific voice and uh, all feature the cylinder throw-offs and design lab venting. 
All of them have many different size uh, bearing edges, like 45 tops, some of them are 35 on the bottoms, and all have different shells, some maple, some hybrid shells. And even the finishes affect the sound, remember, like this Heritage snare is a wrap finish, so that one is a much drier drum, it's like a, a more vintage sound. This drum's one of my favorites. I set out to make it sound like the old Lind drum. Snare drum number one on the old Lind drum, the big fat snare drum sound. And it absolutely sounds just like that Lind drum sample that we've heard a million times. Anyway, there you go. New uh, copper. We got chrome over steel, brass, hand hammered brass, aluminum, and all the other models. So a lot of, lot of testing, a lot of work. Brand new Black Panther series of snare drums, all new models. You have to look into each one of them, check them out, spend some time with them, and find which one works out for what you're trying to do with your voice. So hats off to the Mapex R&D team for getting this deep with this and making it all happen. So check them out. Okay, we are over at the new Black Panther Design Lab Artist Series drums. Now, we had um, some drums out before in, the, in just the Black Panther series. I had the Versata snare drum and Chris Adler had the Warbird. So what we've done now is we move those into the design lab, now that we have the design lab series, where we develop the uh, locking tube eye lug, like you see here. We now have that lug, and we have some other technology that we discovered and worked through, so we applied that to the drums that were out, like the Versatis and the Warbird, and then added some other ones. So what you're looking at here is the new six and a half by 14 Versatis version. So it's the same similar shell, which is maple mahogany, and it's but it's got new venting on it, same edges, a 45-35, deeper snare bed, 2.7 millimeter. They have a new wider snare bed on it. It's a five and a half inch wide snare bed, and if you've ever had the bottom head on your snare drum wrinkle a little bit, that's because the snares are getting too deep too fast. So we make a wider bed so that it's a smoother transition down to the deep snare bed. It's got all Sonic Saber hoops and the locking eye lugs on there, and I love this drum. It's a beautiful, controlled 6.5 by 14 thick shelled snare drum. And it's got the SAS ring system on the top only. So there's a reinforcement ring on the top only, not the bottom. So there's ambience. One of the other things that's going on with the Artist Series is we are utilizing the three stage trick GS Series throw offs. So there's three different positions. You have off, then you have on with the low, and then a medium and a high. So you have four different sounds available. Uh, instantly with the throw off like that and that's that's on all the artist series drums so I have the original Versatis drum which is the 4 and 5 ace by 14 and that's the same drum but now with the eye lug you see the staggered lugs and the, the different venting so we have that version that's the original thin version we have the six and a half we still have um, that we worked on with Chris Adler which is the Warbird and can maybe Tom can you hold that guy up there this is the all walnut one. Now you have the tube lugs staggered for a wider tuning range because Chris loves to crank this drum. So now you can really crank it because you have staggered lugs. You have a wider distance to go with, right? And now you, there's a pure sound snare on all of them except for uh, Hamilton has a canopus snare. But this has a, on Chris's, he has the pure sound snare now, all walnut shell, sonic saver hoops, and the trick throw offs, okay? And then my really good friend and mentor, uh, Jeff Hamilton, Tom's going to grab that drum. He's got what's called the Maximus, and this is a all mahogany drum, a 6x14 mahogany rings, top and bottom, but it has the Versatis uh, uh, snare beds on it, so it's got a 2.7 a deep snare bed, 5.5 wide, it's got a, a 45 degree top and a 35 degree bottom, similar to what the Versatis does, so this is maple mahogany, this is all mahogany, so with rings, so GS, 3 series throw off, design lab venting and the locking tube lugs. And there's another one that another good friend of mine from the UK that you guys may have heard of, and I'm gonna let him tell you all about that. All right, we're over here at the Saturn Evolution drums. Now, they're called Saturn Evolution because there's a regular Saturn series and that's brand new for this year as well. Not a lot's changed on that except for some trickle down things from Design Lab, like the 90 degree static legs, some venting, and uh, the chamber specific plies and things are now in the new Saturn. But we've expanded all that. I work with the design team on a lot of testing and a lot of R&D about developing Saturn Evolution. So this is a very unique 
approach to the Saturn series. There's two kinds of drums, technically. There's the Saturn walnut and maple, and there's a Saturn walnut birch, which is over there. So there's birch walnut and maple walnut, and there's all the colors are crossover, so you can use any combination of those drums that you want. You can have a maple walnut bass drum, and then birch walnut toms. You can do maple high toms, birch floor toms, whatever you want to do. It, of course, all, so all the finishes cross over, so you can match it up. It'll always look the same. That's the first thing. Second thing, it has design lab venting. It has the design lab static 90 degree floor tom legs. It has the locking lugs, the, the old school looking and sounding uh, Sonic Saber hoops, which are punchy and dry. And then it's got the Sonic Saber mounts on it. it. But that mount has been now upgraded with what's called the halo mount. And that is a lateral band system similar to the rims, but which is more horizontal. This is a lateral band system that goes under the bottom row of lugs, allows the drums at 180 degrees just to kind of sit there and float. But what's really interesting about this is we took some of the SAS features, which is Sonic Clear attenuation system, that you see on the mats, the magnetic holders, where you can change the magnetic force and change the sound. You can change this knob right here, and what it does is it binds the band and adds pressure to it or releases it. And when it adds the pressure to it, the drum sound gets smaller and punchier and drier. When it opens it up, it opens it up. So you can control the sound of the drum by turning the knob on the mount, which is really hip, very innovative and really cool. So the Saturn Evolution drums, this series, has all the sizes, right? So there's a 710, uh, A10, 910, 712, A12, 912, whereas Design Lab, there was a very specific depth that were tested for those sounds. This allows you to create a very open architecture for your drums, whatever sounds you want, and whatever sizes you want, and even whatever woods you want. So it's a kind of a new concept to put that together with as far as a series goes. So Saturn Evolution drums, there's 10 colors, and some of the colors have chrome, some of them have the, um, the brushed uh, black look to them. Depends on which color it is. So there's two different hardware finishes, 10 shell finishes, and then the two different shell compositions. So Saturn Evolution drums, check those out. And of course, like I mentioned, the new Saturn is, is all new as well. So thanks, UK. Thanks, everybody at Rhythm. I hope to see you guys over in England real soon. Okay? Thank you.